I'm going to show how to make slides in Asana and then present them with Asana to go. We'll start by selecting a number of tasks in Asana, choosing the slide presentation format in Asana to go and view and copy. And then we'll see the output. So this is very meta because I'm using the very feature that I'm explaining in the video. You might just be able to ditch PowerPoint and Keynote and quickly make your slides right in Asana now. So we're going to focus on the slides, but let's start with a little bit of an overview of Asana to go. So it's a multi-purpose Chrome extension and it allows you to flexibly copy, export, and print from Asana in a variety of outputs. And it's free for most private or commercial use. So before we move on to slides specifically, let's start and see some of the other outputs that Asana to go provides. To start with, uh, there's a card output format. It's kind of like the detail pane in Asana itself. There's also tables. At the top, we see a basic table without subtasks, and at the bottom, the same thing, but including subtasks. You can have all kinds of list outputs um, showing sections, tasks, descriptions, and subtasks, or just a subset of those. And they can either be links or just text, as shown here. There's also mind maps, both exporting from Asana into a mind map, and then taking an existing mind map and creating an Asana set of tasks and a project out of that to, uh, to any number of levels. Some other more specific outputs, the Eisenhower matrix shows urgency and importance. Uh, Projects dashboard, which is a premium tier alternative to Asana portfolios, which require the business tier. SWOT or strength, weakness, opportunity, threat charts, and a bunch of others. Let's get onto the slide presentation itself, what you're seeing here. Basically, each Asana task becomes a slide. Here's the title of the slide that we're looking at here. There's the description in the Asana task, and then the subsections and subtasks. So you can see here, this is uh, what it looks like in Asana with the title. That becomes the slide title over here. The description becomes the slide description. Subsections and subtasks turn into that. So what are the benefits of this? Well, it's a really quick way to present slides in this rich slide presentation framework. Recently, I had a client call and I had about eight minutes free ahead of it. Believe it or not, I was able to throw together a bunch of slides, maybe about a half dozen, and uh, really create a compelling uh, presentation just in a few minutes. So very little overhead to you know, add clarity to your ideas with a uh, presentation format. All your content is in Asana. And you can organize it any way you like, uh, everything in uh, separate projects or just one slide presentation per section, however you want it. And you can tailor different presentations based off the same subset of slides just by uh, deselecting ones. And you can use all Asana features to collaborate, uh, you know, creating those slides, for example, using the comment threads there. But let's take a look at specific slide features. So let's start with the types of slides that are available. First, there's a title slide, and it looks like this over here. You specify that with a tag SL title. There's a section slide to denote a new section in your presentation, and you use SL section for that one. If you want to break up a bunch of individual slides, you can kind of use this different format called SL break. And then the regular slide, which doesn't need any tag at all, uh, looks something like this. There's another version similar to the regular slide, but it's SL center that centers uh, the text, which is usually left justified. And that's useful for images here. And then finally, a split so slide that we've seen a couple of where the image is on the right and the bullets are on the left, and that's SL-split. I want to point out that in these examples that you're seeing here, 
they're a little bit different than this slide presentation. So if you look at this footer here, it looks a little bit different than the footer that I'm using here. And that's just because I have a custom style sheet that's uh, causing my uh, slides to look a little bit different than the default. Some more slide features. There's speaker notes available. So you can specify these as uh, subsections or subtasks that just start with two slashes. Those won't appear on the slides themselves, but you can see these notes using another Asana to go format called slide notes. And it prints a formatted list of uh, just these, all the slides in your presentation. So here you can see them here. And then if there are any notes, those appear underneath the slide that they correspond to. And we see some other information too about the, uh, the kind of slide each one is. You may have noticed that some things are happening bit by bit, fragments or builds. So by default, the description uh, appears separately after the title and then the subsections and subtasks appear after that. Uh, that's the default behavior that you get if you don't do anything. But there are a couple of ways using a tag to have everything show up all at once, or you can even go bit by bit, and we'll see this later, you can, you can decide exactly how the content appears. Some more features, you're allowed to specify Markdown and HTML uh, throughout your content. The rich text in the description is maintained just as it is in Asana. So emojis and other formatting will appear in your slides as they, just as they appear in Asana. Um, you can have uh, hosted images appearing in your presentation uh, using Markdown syntax. There can be links like this one that go uh, from slide to slide in your presentation or externally to uh, other pages. You can create tables, and you can even do code syntax highlighting for lots of languages with some nice uh, extra features in there. You can even embed music or video. So let's take a look at what you can do when you're presenting your slides. This is using a library called Reveal.js that provides some of these features. So I've been using uh, just the right arrow key. I haven't really hit any other key except that. You can use the spacebar too. Um, there's a nice overview feature um, that lets you see at a glance your whole presentation. That's the overview and escape. And then you've seen the pointer, which I've used before. You can also zoom in on certain sections of your screen just with uh, another option. And then you can pause if you don't want to distract the audience and go into full screen mode. You can also print your slide output um, and create a slide deck PDF. Switch over here, select some slides, bring up Asana to go, and in this case, I'm going to choose view print PDF instead of the view copy. And that's going to go right to the uh, print dialog in the browser. And you can see the, the pages look like that. So there's a number of different ways to customize these slide presentations. Starting with the format level, you can make your own slide formats by customizing the standard one that's here using the author mode that gives you access to the Asana API and then helpers and how-to information about doing that. And you can specify the features of Reveal.js, uh, which implements this by putting that right into your format. Let's take a look at this. So if we open up uh, Asana to go and then open this menu, we can see there are a bunch of different options here. We can duplicate this slide presentation format and then just real easily uh, create a new one. And when we do that, we're right here in the markup tab. So this is where we could specify different background colors or different presentation styles, anything that we want. 
Here we can specify all the CSS that applies just to this one format. And then we can get a little bit of help here with access to the data fields uh, that are uh, available. And then on this side, different markup that we can use. And there's a new section here for uh, information about slides. So for example, when we saw those fragments or build behavior, just using this particular syntax will let us cause these individual content to appear bit by bit in the, in the output. Now there's an option page in Asana to go that looks like this, that lets you do customizations across all the formats. So we can start with some different options that are added now for presentation styles. So the default is, as you saw in those examples, a kind of an attractive modern look, but you can also specify your own as you're seeing here. You can also say none in this case to use some of the reveal JS defaults and they have their own themes as well. So we can take a look at some of these. So if I bring up the Asana to go options page here and just clear that out for the CSS file and save it, then when I generate the presentation again, it's going to show up uh, differently using the default styling that we saw in the uh, example slides with different colors there. Another option that we can do is just type none in there. And that's going to use the default reveal styles. And that's kind of a more retro presentation. Looks a little bit like that. And one last customization is configuring uh, Reveal.js. For example, um, if we wanted to change the way we transition from slide to slide, like zooming or fading or sliding, we can do that, or even make an auto running slideshow and specify the timing. And there are literally dozens of different configurations that you can use to override Asana to go's defaults uh, that are used. We'll go back to the options page. Uh, we'll just go back here to the default again. And then I'm going to copy in this uh, little hint here that's going to change the transition to a zoom, and then it's going to give an automatic slide presentation. So when we now ask to bring up the slides, we're going to see a slightly different result First, we've got this uh, playback button. And when I do that, it starts to do it automatically. And you can see it starts to go uh, with the different kinds of transitions. And that's it, except that there's a ton more that you can do with this. And you can see the other videos about Asana to go and the help within Asana to go for details. Thanks a lot.